on camera. What went wrong? Welcome to Caught on Camera. I'm Contessa Brewer. Sometimes all it takes is for one tiny detail to be off. And in a split second, a routine event can escalate into a life or death drama, leaving folks to wonder what went wrong. It can happen at work or at play, or as these people found out during a leisurely day at a horse show. An official at a horse competition gets trampled by an out of control horse. May 2nd, 2001, Springfield, Illinois. At the Arabian Breed Regionals, drivers move their horses into the ring to compete in a class called Country Pleasure Driving. Videographer Rick Bomarito is there to capture the event. Country Pleasure Driving, it's a very neat class. The horse is judged on to be a pleasure. It should look like a pleasure to drive. One of the riders here to compete on this day is Paul Hyman. He loves to show off. Riding a horse, you sit on top of the horse on a saddle and stirrups and the reins. So you really control a horse with your legs and with your arms. It's much easier to control them that way. When you drive, you only have reins and the horse is way up in front. So you really don't control as much as when you are riding. The competition begins as planned when Paul drives his horse into the ring with the others. But then his horse begins to speed up. All of a sudden, it's like a canter, and that's a big sign that something is wrong. Walk, please. Walk your horse this time out. He pulls the reins to stop, but it's no use. And I hit the other cart, and I got thrown out. And then he was on his own, and he really freaked out. The horse went in a total panic because he had a loose cart behind him just banging and turning upside down. Veteran horse trainers Chuck Seaman and his son Matt trained Paul's horse for the event. Bring the horses to the inside. Bring the horses to the inside, please. The tipped cart panics the horse even more. Paul and the others scramble to the center to avoid the one-ton animal. The buggy finally shakes loose, but Paul's horse still won't stop. There's nothing scarier than a horse that is totally lost his mental capabilities. He didn't care what he did or who he ran over. The stampeding horse nearly runs over a man. Then another man tries to grab the loose reins, but that only makes matters worse. Paul's horse crashes into a second horse. His horse falls down, then gets back up and bolts again. The horse was scared to death. No one was gonna stop him unless they grabbed his head and pulled him to the ground. Everyone's shocked by what happens next. As the horse comes underneath my camera location, one of the ring men threw himself in front of the horse. So that's a, you know, a ton of animal coming at you. Oh, that was a brave act. He was doing what he could as a ring man to save the rest of the class. He is Uncle Bob. All the horsemen just love him to death. And he had just had open heart surgery that spring. So we were all concerned it was the end of Bob. Unfortunately, it was not. Uncle Bob is okay, but Paul's horse is still completely out of control. It runs straight at a horse whose driver is disabled and can't exit the buggy. But a judge scares it off by tossing papers at it. All horses are herd animals. When they're in a panic situation, they actually want comfort in another animal or a person. The horse that was running free, he just wanted to get near another horse and have the comfort of that. Shouts and screams by onlookers spook Paul's horse even more. Keep quiet. Please keep quiet. Leave the horse on the outside and let's let it run it down. It makes another run at the same horse, and this time it slams right into it and its disabled driver. A judge grabs Paul's horse, finally stopping him. And Chuck's son Matthew frees the disabled driver just as the second horse bolts and continues the bedlam. We need a medic, please. My son Matthew was there in the ring with me. He had the instinct to go and grab her out of the cart before that horse took off, or that could have been a life-threatening situation. That's a miracle. Watching this unfold, like I said, it's surrealistic. And the one horse charges into another horse and stops, and the second horse takes off. My mind was like, oh, good, a fresh horse. That's all we need. The startled animal runs over Paul's discarded buggy. Let's keep the horse on the outside if we can. Keep him on the outside if you can. Ring a 
officials try to keep it away from people in the center. Keep quiet, keep the horse on the rail if you can, keep them on the outside if you can. If one of those horses goes through center ring, we could have some major serious injuries. The horse avoids the center, but then loops back around. It knocks a man over and narrowly misses the disabled driver. What goes through someone's mind at that time? First of all, total panic. You say, oh my goodness, and then a lot of prayer because you don't know what the outcome's going to be. The buggy tips, helping slow the horse just enough to enable a few other animals to be removed from the ring. But this horse shows no signs of stopping. Moments later, ring men ready lassos to harness it. When the buggy jolts off, the exhausted animal trips and goes down. If the horse is critically injured, it will have to be put down. Fortunately, it's not hurt. Horse was absolutely fine. He went on the end of that year. Was national champion country horse under saddle. He was fine after that. Just exhausted and terrified. Miraculously, other than a few bruises and one broken thumb, no people are critically injured either. So what went wrong to initiate all this chaos? It wasn't driver error, since Paul is an expert horseman, and Paul's horse has plenty of experience in competition too. Turns out, it was something small that Chuck noticed in the ring only after it was too late. Stinging bees. That particular day, as the horses entered the ring on the far side, several of them were irritated by something. Personally, I think it was some kind of bees that were in there, and then Paul came through there, and his horse just panicked and took off at a full dead run. After this happened, my trainer recommended I stop driving that horse. And if I want to keep driving, I should get a different horse. And I bought his brother. This is Lucky, because he brings me luck. Lucky also brought luck to Matt, the trainer who saves the disabled woman in this video. At the 2011 Nationals, Matt and the horse take the ribbon. Matt D. Seaman drives the reserve national champion. These are the best horses in the country are here today, and I'm happy to be here with them. Coming up, 